How are you? Good. Uh, thanks so much for um, talking with me today. So um, diving right in, uh, kind of what uh, drew you to the bad guys as a project? Um, I think it's, you know, the first time I saw the first book, you know, and the cover of that book um, was actually sitting on the, you know, my friend Damon's uh, Ross, the producer of the films, on his desk. He was sitting there. We were working on something different and then together. And then I saw this and I was like, what is this? It's like, oh yeah, that's something that I'm developing, you know, writing a script and that kind of a, a book franchise. And but I was like, man, this is amazing. Just just that first cover is like so strong, so clear. That's that big idea of these scary animals kind of uh dressed up as gangsters and you just you get it you know and then you open the first page and the, the big bad wolf is basically saying i want to become a good guy now and you're like oh my god this is so cool there's an amazing message but also the world in which you can play this is so good because you can have you know i immediately see you know wolf super slick driving a car with money flying and having robbed the bank and whatnot you know so you could have all the action stuff and the, the swagger of these gangster films and the, the heist movies and I think that's how it started, you know, and uh, and and there was a first draft of the script, which was not exactly that, but had some elements of it and started working on it, developing some ideas and some thoughts and kind of took on from there, you know, but I, it was, it, it came from a, just a pure, you know, kind of a, you know, childish desire for me to just play around with gangster movies, really, and animals, you know. <laughs> nice. Um... Yeah, so that kind of um, segues uh, into my next question, which was, was it a uh, challenge to um, adapt and kind of reshape the original source material? Yeah, I mean, it's always like it's always uh, it's a challenge. I don't, I don't know how much more of a challenge it is than creating an original story and just create, coming up with it. It's always like making movies are, is so complex, so difficult. So it's always a challenge, <laughs> obviously, as you know. Um, the thing is, like, I think we did it rather well in the sense of we were very close to Aaron Blaby, the writer, who was always involved in, in, in the loop of, and so therefore there was no, there was no big struggle just to get him on board with what we were doing, actually quite the contrary, he was such a big advocate of the direction we're taking and just supporting us into that direction that in a way, in that sense, it was an easy process. Now, making a story, adapting it from the books, taking our own liberties because obviously the, story, the, the the movie starts much before Wolf decides to go good. The, the, the first page of the book is really the big bad wolf saying, gang, we're going to go good. In our case, we had to kind of, I wanted to just explore the genesis and of the gang and where did that, how come they, you know, what led them to just that decision of becoming good guys, you know? Um, and so those are massive liberties we're taking. I mean, we're taking liberties in the world. We've just, you know, as you know, Tarantula is a male in the books and is a female in the movie, taking massive liberties with the visual style. So all of those are decisions that are being made along the, the way, but also in consultation with um, with Aaron and his blessing. And so um, it's a little, it's obviously difficult to adapt it, but but it went pretty easily in a way where there was everybody was on the same page you know nice yeah so he was involved uh from the from the start then of course yeah absolutely nice. he was involved in and he's an executive producer on the film you know and he's, he, we kept him involved in the loops throughout great um now this is your first um time directing a animated feature um yeah are you interested in doing um, more um, directing with uh, animation? Well, of course. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's a, uh, it's um, for me, it's like a, uh, you know, the true discovery of what that job is, you know, uh, and the, the potential to tell a story and just tell it in with your own voice and being able to just put some of your own personality into a, a film like this. Um, 
your own story, your own feelings and emotions and, and sensibility, you know, uh, but also being exposed to so many different steps, you know, when you create something so big, uh, I mean, when you create, when you're in charge of something so big because you're creating with so many people, but, you know, you're writing, you're directing actors, you're casting, you're just doing some publicity, you're drawing, you're storyboarding, you're just, like so many different facets to it, you know, and you're the shepherd of all that big team, you know, it's incredibly fun and, and rewarding and exciting, you know, um, so yes, definitely, you know, I think I, I found what I love nice. to do. <laughs> um, so now, um, I know I've um, heard you say in other interviews that this whole thing was just very daunting, and of course, I can only imagine that it would be a huge undertaking, and I was kind of curious, like, what's um, specific um like what was the most challenging aspect would you say of of uh, the bad guys um of the whole production you mean hmm. Produ producing the film yeah yeah uh well i think it was uh finding the right story because um i mean there was two things the first one is um Animation is a very evolving medium in when you make those films, especially you know the way we make those films in those big Hollywood studios, uh, where you keep on shaping up your story throughout the process. Um, you want to give yourself that freedom to be able to to always adjust and rethink, and, and so up until the story is locked, there is those that ear of searching and. You know, it's a massive puzzle, you know, and so that's, that's, it's, it's draining, it's incredibly creative, but at the same time, very, a little stressful, and also, you know, incredibly difficult, you know, but you're basically looking for what is this movie, what is, you know, this movie is trying to tell you something, what it wants to be, you're trying to looking for, you're, you're looking for that. So that's the first thing. So that, that's a very complex, difficult um, journey. The second thing is doing it when COVID hits and you have to, you know, send everybody home and work from home and, and you're supposed to approve shots um, that you usually approve on a big screen, but now you're approving on, on your app, iPad and, and, and you don't have that communication, that easiness, that ease of communication between your, your team. You're not with your team all the time, you know, physically, you know. Um, so that, that was a little bit of a tricky uh, um, a turn of events. Um, we ended up managing pretty well, but it, it's true that it's uh, it's not exactly the same thing as being in person, obviously. You know? And I'm sure that having a background in animation yourself prior to this has, has probably helped um, tremendously as far of as course. like... Yeah, 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 totally. So, you know, my, 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 I think my strength as a director would come from the fact that I, I am an animator and so therefore I really understand acting and and, and animation style and character design and uh, and the importance of an animation of the animation team. I really know them really really well because they are you know in in this department for so long. But I also know that also means that I've been in the trenches in the production line uh, for a long long time and I understand what it is. You know. Um, so I'm not, I've, I've never, I've not been necessarily most of my career. I've been in that production, executing the film as an animator, as opposed to being in pre-production as a story artist or visual artist or editor or whatever, you know, uh, or writer, you know. So I, I have that knowledge of what it is to produce a film, you know. Um, now the, the, the main kind of learning curve for me was like how do you reflect on a story, how do you write a story, how do you uh, comment on that. You know, that's something that I hadn't been exposed to as much as uh, directing cameras, acting, et cetera, et cetera. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so now there is um, more books in this series um, that hasn't been adapted yet. Um, is that yeah. something you're interested in? Um, later if there on? is a sequel, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course. You know, I'd be interested in making a sequel. Um, it's not, you know, at the moment, we're still kind of figuring it out. You know, is there is there a need for one? Uh, is there you know uh, the space for one? Like I mean, it's like like any decision, everything is like kind of a uh, being engaged and and uh, and uh, looked at very carefully. But uh, on my end, yeah, of course, I'd love to see these characters again on the big screen. You know, 
just so fun. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, it's it's a fantastic movie. Um, Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, what, what, what would you say is like, uh, what would you want to be like the takeaway um, from this movie as far as like the audience goes? Well, if you a few things, I guess. The first one would be, um, hopefully it's a theme and a, a discussion. It offers a discussion, a point of view on, you know, judging people and uh, second chances and redemption and um, kind of looking beyond the first impression that you have from someone, you know. Uh, that reflection is something that I'd love you know, kids specifically just to kind of think about a little bit, you know, and that's what this movie is really talking about. Um, second, you know, would be definitely, you know, hopefully having the younger generation just fall in love with the heist genre, you know, because I think it's such a fun genre to play with and just discover, you know, and so like kind of pique their curiosity a little bit and, and want to watch more growing up, you know, of these movies. Okay, great. Um, so real quick, just wrapping up, um, uh, is there anything else you're currently working on right now? Um, nothing that I can really talk about right now <laughs> in here. But yeah, of course, developing new stuff. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. And um, anyone who's watching this video, please check out The Bad Guys. It is amazing. And uh, again, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much. Thanks. It was a pleasure.